So let me explain this example here. So what I am doing, like this is a different design, like design I, I did earlier. In the last uh, session, we created something similar to this with the circles and like you giving them some kind of movement, smooth movement, then loft, then like dividing them. Here I'm changing like the seam of the, of these uh, circles. I'm creating a bunch of new circles now to work with. In the normal situation, like if the start of the circle is always like at this point, uh, this component, which is, uh, I think it's called seam. So it changes the seam, like the start and end point of these circles. So uh, it changes according to what value you put in. Uh, here, because I have the value as a curve, so it's kind of uh, like curving the start and the end of, of these circles. What would the, what purpose does that uh, do? It's kind of like to create in the next step to create these kind of shapes. So oh, okay. We're okay, yeah. using the other way of the, the points and we're kind of creating these lines. Uh, after that, we are finding some curves or like arcs in the beginning and the end. Let me show the arc like this. Mm -hmm. And you can control like how deep is it, how uh, like thick or so. And the last step is to sweep this arc along these curves, uh, along all okay. these things. So the final result, if I bake it, let me just grab all of these, put them here you will find something like this. Because now all of these are like surfaces. When I select them, you can see uh, it's called as a surface. And the surface like concept in, in Rhino is like an, a mathematical thing. So it, it does not have geometry. It, it's not yeah. like mesh. It's just like a smooth a mathematical uh, definition of the movement. So this is exactly yeah the beautiful way of it. What I want to do actually is let me change this to here to see how that works. No, it didn't work. What I'm having here, let me join. And now I have it as one uh, VRIP or like one surface. Now I, I will do all of that division that we did earlier on on this surface, like the one with, with the curves and all of these things. Let's see if that works. Since it's frozen, that means it works. So now it is doing this division. Oh wow. And with the final thing here. It's the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. I think it's still there. Yeah. We we'll have to control the. I think that we have like an extra line or something maybe in the middle, but well, a strip there or so. But basically, this it work. So it will work like just the movement of the uh, of the printer. We didn't use any kind of mesh like this. Now created all of these polygons now. So this is the mesh, and as you can see, there is oh, there's there's no corners really. It's smooth. Right, there's no like where one where one face meets another. Yeah, actually, it's kind of there is, is there? but very 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 smooth. Right. I'm gonna link this mesh. Now I have it here. And cut no color. And what level do you want it? It's asking. Let's see two levels and bake side. So this is the baked thing. That looks super smooth. Yeah. Even that's, like that's really smooth. We had these sharp edges, like each one of these was a bit sharp now. Even those like smooth them with yeah. this kind of yeah. I'm gonna export it to see how much like uh, space that you would take. No, I think it, it it's like a hundred megabytes. Cool thing, man. Yeah, that's that's super cool. 